Inglese Vero Podcast. Conversazioni e storie in inglese vero. Ciao, sono Stefano Roganti, fondatore di inglesevero.it. In questo podcast ti racconterò alcune mie storie in inglese, personali, sull'inglese e avrò delle conversazioni in inglese con i miei amici, madrelingua e non, da tutto il mondo che parlano inglese vero. L'utilità di questo podcast è quello di abituarti ad un inglese vero, senza filtri, senza livelli, che viene utilizzato in tutto il mondo. Con l'ascolto di questi podcast ti abituerai ad un inglese come non hai mai fatto prima, così da poterne sfruttare tutta la magia senza confini. Buon ascolto! How are you today? I'm fine, thank yeah? you. Yeah, good, good, not too bad. So, um, today, uh, I don't know, I want to um, introduce you to my students okay. and to all the podcast listeners and especially to the ones who want to visit this beautiful place because we are in, where are we? We are in a place called North Wales. North Wales. And yeah. North Wales. Cut, wait oh, a second. I don't yeah, you don't need yeah. to Hello, Raquel. Hello, Mr. Adam. Good morning. <laughs> we're here again. <laughs> Second time. Um, so, we're here to talk about yourself and this place and about the opportunity for students to come here and visit you. But why would students come and visit you? I mean, let's give them a little bit of information where, where we are and why are we here and uh, what are we doing here. Okay. Yeah. So, basically, Clan doesn't know. It's a town uh, in North Wales and it's a very safe place. Safe place. What do you say the, the town name is? Clandudno. 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 Okay, Clandudno. Yes. Now, you, you can find this, the name scripted down below in the comments. Most probably people will say Yandudno. But, Yandudno, But yeah. the proper Welsh name is Clandudno. Clandudno, yeah. I said Yandudno the first yeah. time I read it because I speak a little bit of Spanish. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so... Um, Talking about Spanish, where are you from? I'm from Barcelona. You're from Barcelona. That's really good. Yes. Beautiful place. So the fact that I am a foreign person yeah. it, uh, makes a big difference because I know how the students feel when they come here. Yeah. And they feel a little bit worried, a little bit um, concerned that they're not going to be able to communicate properly. Yeah. So when they come in, I make them feel like I was the same as they are feeling when they put the feet for the first time in... So they feel scared, worried, they yeah. don't speak the language, and exactly. you remember that. Yeah, and I say, listen, I don't speak English properly. The best thing is that you have to be able to communicate, and you will get better if you practice. Yeah, That's just the most practice. important thing, yeah. practice. That's what I tell you. Not to have fear. Yeah, no yeah. fear. No fear, no, no fear. fear. <laughs> yeah, strong warrior. Uh, that's what I tell my students. As I do the same. My, my, my strength is that I, I'm Italian, English is not my first language, and what I teach them mostly is in co- unconsciously is the fact that I understand them and they feel it. Mm. They really, they really feel it. Mm-hmm. That's why they choose me and you. So we are in Wales, which is a country of England, the most beautiful. They say. Um, yes, it's. Uh, I will say Wales um, is part of UK. Yeah. And it's a separate country. It's uh, not very well known, but um, we're trying to get people to know about Wales. Wales is a beautiful uh, landscape. Yeah, beautiful they mountains. Got lots mo- of mountains, lakes, they got lots of castles as well. Yeah. And um, yeah, we just got um, the castle in here, Carnarvon, which is half an hour uh, ago from where we are. And that's where Prince Charles was crowned Prince of Wales. Wow. Yeah. And, an interesting castle. Yeah, talking about these uh, big events coming here, there's something about Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Louis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland, used to come um, here. Um, he was a holiday maker in, in North Wales, uh, okay. in Caldudno, and then he got inspired in this town. Okay, so, so I remember because yesterday I was walking around the town and saw a lot of uh, statues, yeah. statues and you know, the white rabbit, uh, Alice and the, the hole and whatever it is. Anyway, so physically, where are we now? We are in a room in a beautiful 
what is it, living room or what? This is, yeah, this is our quiet room. Yeah. So in our accommodation, we got um, different um, kinds of rooms uh, that the students can socialize. So yeah. you got the um, conservatory, then you got the area for the pool, uh, the football games, and then we got a large big dining room. So it's like a big school, hotel, no, I'll say it's a big house. It's, it's a, a big, big house. house for students. Yeah. Um, because we don't offer hotel service like. Ah, no hotel service. No, just bed and breakfast. No, just. A... No, it's it's like a house. Like people are expected to clear the tables, to keep their rooms nice and tidy. They don't clean them every day, spotless. Like. They look after it, but the students have also the sense that they have to look after their own rooms. So they get responsibility exactly. for that. Exactly, okay. that's what it's about. They're not only learning about the language, the language they're learning but... about other aspects, which is responsibility and um, sharing the accommodation with other students of other nationalities. Yeah. Yeah. What about also, also um, like, um, how do you say, like actual practical things, you know, cleaning yeah. and tidying and so. Smoking, not smoking, yeah. no rules, yeah, yeah. what you can do, what you cannot do. You that's, know? that's one thing that we are very um, keen on learning, that they have to have discipline yeah, because they are learning also the culture. Yeah, the okay? English culture. Yeah. The English culture and that's what we explain to them when they arrive here. We sit them down and we give them the rules what is acceptable in UK, what is not acceptable okay. in UK. So, so, so once again, um, uh, in this place, you actually welcome uh, children, teenagers, but also families. I remember yes. that, that's. I think that's something that re I really loved because I think, you know, what if uh, some, you know, some adults they want to learn English, but they got a family. They say, oh, I can't mm -hmm. go to England to, to actually to Wales or to the UK to learn English. Yeah, you you host family. You get families. Yeah. How so, do you deal with that? Do you have a service for children or? Yeah. So normally during the year we open it to schools, except August and at the beginning of September we open it up a program called Come Along with the Family. Come Along with the Family, very good. At the same time, on that period we also have, have adults coming in yeah. because it's a quiet place. Like we have to be careful, like obviously during the year not to have student groups with adults because yeah. obviously it's not fair for the adults because it, this can get quite noisy yeah. at yeah. night. Okay. And, disturbing but you know because it's very quiet it's very nice any kind of family can come a mom on her own with her children the mother the the grandmother with the children yeah. uh, because we have um, family rooms okay, and uh. the program for the come, along, uh, come along with the family it's a very interesting one where we give the opportunity to the children to do activities of english and then the parents can have Free time. Free time. So the, there is a, like a like what is it a children club or what is it like a uh, babysitting no, no it's tutoring. A, it's a, our English teachers. English teacher. Oh, English so they actually teachers. learn English yeah. during yeah, yeah. these activities. Not the, only babysitting. Yes. No, no, it's not a babysitting service. It's um, activities. We call it living English activities. Living English, yeah. Which they're basically cooking lessons, uh, oh. games, uh, a lot of. If if the uh, bambinos, if they're small, yeah. they can do like singing, crafts, uh, oh. different kinds of activities with them. So it's I think it's what we say we kill two birds with one stone. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. you you have a holiday, you learn English for yourself as a parent, exactly. and your children do the same. Hmm. And if you're if you're interested as an adult, as a mother or father, to do English, then you, you can, can also, also do it, some that's English a aside. That's exactly. okay. That's extra. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I think it's uh, yeah, that's very beautiful. Um, anybody from the from the audience want to ask some yeah, questions? I'd like to ask you a little bit about. Uh, can you remind students who are go our students are gonna uh, join you in um, in October? So can you uh, share with them some of the ground rules? Yes, of course. So the ground rules of the house for uh, teenagers. Teenagers, yes. Yeah. That's, that's just for teenagers. Yeah. Um, I will be passing you an information with all the rules and it's good for you to share them with the um, students prior to, to visit us so they understand that the, the house is divided in two. So during the uh, stay, they can share time together in the main floor, but then the one building is for the boys, the other building is for the girls, so no crossing to each other's houses. Then, obviously, you know, if they smoke, they can smoke in the house or outside the premises, they have to go and smoke 
far, 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 yeah. far away from here because this is an education facilities and in UK smoking is not look good okay so we want to be a positive image for any parents that bring children in here yeah, they don't want to see people smoking around the town yeah, in the, the, the yeah. facility also for example alcohol we can't have alcohol in rooms or anything like that we don't um, allow them to eat in the bedroom so they can take their food down here we're quite flexible we can we can give them the fridge we can give a box for them this is a very safe place because obviously we've got cameras so there's nothing that can be mislead or um, we can prove things if go missing. So yeah. it's a very safe place. So nothing happens. Nothing happens, <laughs> no. No, because um, this, uh, this um, place is not open to the public as well. That's so good. it means that, that only the students will be able to come in here. And normally uh, our staff will wear uniforms so they will identify them quickly. Um, what other rules? We just um, basically um, we tell them not to run you know, because they're not used to the carpets and they may twist their ankles. Yeah. Not going without bare feet because if not, our carpets will smell bad very quickly and we have to replace Especially them. Especially with teenagers' feet, yeah? Yeah. Especially, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, other <I> ones as <laughs> well. <laughs> you were talking about safety. I like the, the, the I like the, when I when I first came here, I had to learn like a two or three codes, like a code to enter. It's like, I like that because I don't have to bring my keys yeah. I just need to tap the code. Yeah. The door will open at certain times. Yes, it that's won't open right. at different times. That's I think is uh, something that in Italy we don't have. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't exist. Yeah, it is better like that because if you lose your key, exactly, you cannot come um, back in. So um, that's um, brilliant, and we've got timings for them to come back. Uh, at ten thirty, they all have to be back in the building. Okay. If there is if they're on their own or um if there's only one group in here and the teachers give them the extra, the yeah. extra time this is up to the teacher but so it's the responsibility of the yeah, teacher no, that the last member of staff will he live here at 10 30. so we are hoping that nothing will happen after that yeah, yeah. because we can't have people here until 12 night or yeah. whatever yeah okay i think that's it any other questions about this no Okay, so I'm looking forward to coming here with my students first. Fantastic. I hopefully bring some adults, teenagers, I don't know. We'll see. Families, yeah. Families yeah. and friends. Wonderful. Boyfriends, girlfriends, relatives, whatever. Uh, okay, thank you very much for coming here. Thank you for taking your time to interview. And uh, we talk too soon. Okay. okay. Bye, -bye. bye bye. Cheers. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Grazie per aver ascoltato questo episodio del podcast di Inglese Vero. A prescindere dal tuo livello, ti consiglio comunque di riascoltare il podcast più volte. Se sei all'inizio, riascoltare ti servirà per poter capire meglio e farci l'orecchio. Ogni persona che intervisto ha un modo di parlare inglese diverso e serve tempo per farci l'abitudine. Se il tuo livello è un po' più alto, riascolta per cogliere parole ed espressioni che non hai colto la prima volta. E se proprio vuoi trarre il massimo dal podcast, riascolta anche successivamente cercando eventuali errori miei e del mio ospite. Indipendentemente dal fatto che tu li possa trovare o meno, indipendentemente dal fatto che esistano, questo di per sé è un esercizio potentissimo. In alcuni episodi trovi anche la trascrizione completa, che ti aiuterà a capire e verificare l'ascolto. Dove questo sia disponibile troverai il link nella descrizione. Aiutami a diffondere il podcast lasciandomi un commento, soprattutto se il podcast ti è piaciuto, e condividendolo con i tuoi amici. Più saranno gli ascolti, i download e i commenti, più potrò proseguire con altri episodi sempre più utili e interessanti. Tu sei la mia motivazione. Se non mi conosci, ti invito nel mio sito www.ingleseVero.it dove trovi contenuti e curiosità su come imparare, mantenere e praticare inglese in modo concreto. In modo vero, come lo chiamo io. E poi potrai anche contattarmi se ne avrai bisogno.